All right, y'all, y'all already know, we're back again. Silent E, TCG here. We're going to do another deck profile, of course, on this week's current deck. And, of course, it's my favorite guy of all, of all the anime. <laughs> and probably my second best color, I guess you would say. For I think red is my first. But we're going to go ahead and show off my purple Luffy. Definitely a, uh, an interesting deck for sure. So many tech cards, so many choices. And I don't know, it's been, I'm kind of, I can't put my thumb on it yet, how I feel about the deck, but of course I think it's really strong, really good, but I don't know, I, I, I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta just keep playing with it more and see how, see how it does, you know, uh, I'm leaning more towards an L, of course Sakazuki is more prevalent, but Luffy does have a spot, he's definitely not the worst or, or you know, the lesser of the three, but he's still really good by all means. It's just a matter of if you have your certain pieces and cards, I guess you can say. But that's any deck. So, you know, I'm still trying to figure out, you know. But if y'all have a better uh, wording or solution, y'all please let me know down in the comments. And, of course, we got the alt art because I think it's the best looking one, <laughs> in my opinion. Next to Anel, of course. You know, Anel's probably better. But I like Luffy. Definitely is cool to look at that. So without further ado, we'll get into the deck profile, and at the end, I'll definitely lay it out for y'all so y'all can look at it in all its glory. And um, of course, I will have some tech choices, tech cards I'll, I'll show as I go along. So by all means, subscribe to the channel. It'll be greatly appreciated. Like the video, and of course, comment down below on any notable changes, suggestions, and cards I, I need to use or try out. All right, starting off, um, funny enough, we're going right into level fours. We'll start off with just the 2k counter, uh, Khalifa. I usually play her if I need to draw some, some cards. Um, if you establish a kid, you pretty much will get that Dawn back. So it's not terrible. Not by, not bad by any means. And you need to see certain cards, uh, of course. Uh, next up, another 2k, um, Zella. She's also your ramper, so discard a card. Crash a card and get out of rested dawn. Can come in handy, but usually she's 2k. Along with ulti, another 2k. But you usually play her more than anything. Because you minus a dawn, you get to play to pay, uh, play page one. Which is a stronger uh, of a body. So that's how you go wide. You usually want to... Uh, what do you go first and second? Depends on what you're working with. And you bring them these two out and just keep them out as long as you can. Uh, presume pressure and you know hopefully doing all your opponent's life down next up we got two more vanilla which is uh saw um scratch mana poo <clears throat> just two of them uh, you can run any that you want but uh, i guess i'd rather choose a poo and then uh more level fours we got two law uh i know people play four <clears throat> but um, his effect doesn't really come up as often so i just decided to run two and the only uh <clears throat> The other two replacements I use are the uh, Uta, which is actually very strong. Um, being able to rest a five or less on block is very helpful in certain matchups, especially in the mirror match, Sakazuki, uh, NL, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me, any deck, honestly, because everyone runs level fives on less. So just being able, you know, being able to tap a blocker so you can successfully go in. It makes them have to attack with a blocker. And it, you know, it's still she does the job regardless. So I like her more than running the other two law, in, in my opinion. I don't know, honestly. Uh, next, we got four kid blocker, the one that gives you your dawn back if you minus one. Definitely a good card to see. I usually try to put him out um, first on my dawn five turn or Magellan if I can help it, but usually I, I, it would be him more than anything. <clears throat> uh, we got Queen, another uh, uh, blocker, and then, of course, draw two trash one. Y'all know what he does. <laughs> um, for Magellan, definitely a key card to see in certain matchups. Um, just being able to bring him out, slow your opponent down by minus and Dawn. They definitely won't kill it. Sakazuki can out him out easy. Uh, any blue can out him out, out him pretty easily. So that's why there's that. Um, and we got two Frankie, another 2k counter mainly, but the rush 
if you got nothing else to do, <laughs> the rush can it kind of can come in handy during the late game. So you might sneak somebody with that and um and all that jazz. And one reason why I'm running a whole bunch of fives, you know, for that for this sole reason is because we I am taking in the one tech card of the Rush Luffy six costs. I mean, you have to mine to dawn and discard level five. So any dead Magellan or uh, whatever I don't need, you can fuel him up, <clears throat> bring him out. And if you have the uh, the kid up, you get that dawn back. So you can put it on him, make him 8K or whatever, whoever you need to, to put it on. But discard a card, discard a five, the mine to dawn, <clears throat> he comes out with Rush. Very good. Um, I had it in there in case I happen to bump into an Anel matchup, you know, in case you they have the Anel rested or whatever, or you're able to, to destroy it, bring this out, and then they can't keep it safe by uh, sacking a life. <laughs> so very, very good card. Or all in all, it's just extra rush in case, in case you don't see Kaido or something. Definitely came in handy. I definitely am glad I ran that in there um, over the other cards, but like I said, I like it a lot. I need to get the other version too. So we'll look for that eventually. So try it out. Y'all might actually like it too. Um, <laughs> but uh, next up, I don't use Polly, So instead I'm using four, uh, three King. And I think King is better in my opinion. Like I don't have to tap two Dawn to pop a four or less. They're both popping four or less. It's just a matter of how soon you want to bring it out. Seven Dawn with Polly or six with King. Like I'd rather do King. And he's a little bit stronger, he's 7K. <clears throat> but um definitely i was happy to see king <laughs> probably way more than Polly anyway but um you sure you get the active dawn the ramp up with but you know if you, it really didn't do too much for me after that especially since he, he's only at 6k so you know it, it's player preference but I, I like king personally i am trying out two the seven drop kid um i might put him to three but it's never been a dire need of three honestly i've seen people run four of course three four but um i actually like two um this deck is very counter non-counter heavy between the magellans the king the kings the kid also running four kaido of course got to see that so I'd rather run four of that you know there's a plethora of non-counter like 12 or 11 or so so definitely a lot of uh bricks it can definitely cost you the game if you're uh if you got all of them in like at the wrong time and you get them in hand clunk it up the hand but there's ways to you know discard them or whatever so it's not terrible but it, it can it can be a little rough but uh four kaido definitely need that boss card of course close up the games and I'm, i am running four events we got two last breath um i definitely think you need this to to at least withstand some damage you're gonna be at zero the one life <laughs> and if you don't take the last life or whatever your opponent is really gonna go in go hard and they're not going they're not gonna expect blast breath and counter cards you got like 12 2ks and I also have two uh, Jack Gatling just for an additional 3k and then of course discard a card without counter so to get that <clears throat> so that way you're not like getting one shot <laughs> easily there's been times where I would be at zero life and they think they can do just 15k you know or 15 at lead and I'm just like alright blast, uh, blast breath counter counter jet gatling I'm good I'm at 16 or whatever it takes so you know there's things like that you know plenty of blockers but depending what the situation is you gotta make sure you, you're able to stay in the game but there's that um, deck was phenomenal worked pretty well um, like I said, Sakazuki's an uphill battle, but you can still win. Uh, and L's doable. You got Dive Run that, so it makes it a little bit easy. Or not easy, but fair. <laughs> but, um, there, you know, uh, Mirror Match is kind of weird. Depends who has better options, better cards. All in all, it has been, it's been a journey, but I'm going to definitely keep working with the deck and seeing how we do. But let me go ahead and lay it out for y'all and give y'all the full spread. All right, here's a deck, all in its unorganized way, but <laughs> um, we know who the leader is. Put that right there. But um, yeah, that's how it is. Just a, a good bit of stables, you know, four ofs, 
at the least. But uh, like I said, try out the Luffy. He's pretty interesting. It gives an L, an extra rush in case you don't see Kaido. Um, you, you do have to discard a or trash at level 5. So keep that in mind. May not always be uh, open to do. But um, <clears throat> at least my build in particular, I run so many. You're, you you probably will have a chance to do it. Especially if you hold on to Magellan. So they're going to be uh, useless in a, without counter anyway. But um, that definitely fun. Um, I definitely think it'll, it'll be a contender at Nationals for sure. Without a doubt. You know, despite a thousand Sakazukis and, uh, you know, hundreds of nails out there. Quite sure. But, you know, Luffy's repping purple. So I know he'll it'll do well. I know it, he'll do good. So we'll definitely keep at it, and we'll see where we take it from here. But all right, y'all, <clears throat> that's it for the deck. Uh, again, let me know what y'all think. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what changes need to be made. Um, if I need a bump kit at four, maybe I'll try that out. I don't know. Maybe cut Kaido to three, even though I like four. But, you know, there's ways to change up. I could take out the Luffy, you know. I like it personally, but, um, you know. It's 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 a it's a good tech, spicy tech. But y'all let me know and I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care, have a good one, peace out. Thank y'all good.